Shalom Akim, Shalom Akwathiam, uh, Shalom to you sincere sisters and sincere brothers out there, and as always, giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, giving due honors to our apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. <clears throat> I'm going to be going into, um, you know, that typical John John 3 16 you know what let me, let me get that one out first all right and then I'll start heading into the the lesson I'm gonna start off at verse 4 uh, 15 it says John 3 15 that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life uh, so whoever believes in Yahweh Shai will have eternal life because if you believe in something that means you're going to fight for that thing you believe in, you know? And it says, um, uh, well, let me see, hold on, uh, the book of Psalms tells you, kiss the son lest he be, lest he be angry. All right. So kissing the son is, is worshiping the son as well. You see, worshiping Yahweh, the most high, the father and Yahweh Shai, our, our, our savior, you see? So it's not, it's, it's, it's not for everyone because not everyone is doing that. You see, you have people that that say they love the Most High, but what are they doing? Everything contrary to the Most High. You see, being anti messiahs You see, being anti uh, uh, scriptures. Yahweh Shai said that he came in a volume of a book. You see, so you can't be anti scriptures and say you follow the Lord. You see, you can't be a a, a double. Uh, what is what is that? Is that what he said. Um, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You see? You can't be double-minded. You see? It says, it says, verse 16, For Yahweh so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Alright? So, getting windy out of nowhere out here. But, um, now, who, who is the, uh, um, so lucky. Let me read that again. <clears> this <throat> says uh, John three and sixteen. For Yahweh so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Now, who is that world? All right, who's the world? It's Israel. All right, that's the world without end. You know. So we'll go to uh, Isaiah forty-five. So lock forty-five and seventeen. And it says, uh, But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. You see, so it's not talking about everyone. All right, the Most High doesn't love everyone. So with that, let me go to John chapter, oops, chapter 9. <clears throat> you know, the point is at verse 31. But you know, this whole chapter is, is really good. All right. And, um, you know, it, it's symbolic, all right? You know, it, it, this literally happened, but it's also symbolic of, of Israel, all right? And waking up Ezekiel uh, 37, you see Israel coming back to, to their power, you know? So it says, uh, John 9 and 1, and, and Yahweh Shai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Yahweh Shai answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of Yahweh should be made manifest in him. All right, so some, some people are just, all right, going through what they're going through, just so the Most High can show glory. All right, and so we can give praise unto the Most High. You see, it's not necessarily a, a, a bad thing. It says, um, verse 4, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. All right. So there was a period of time where our people fell away. Like the scripture says, there, there, there first must be a falling away. All right. And there was a falling away. All right. All our people fell away from, from the Most High. You see Judah, Benjamin, Levi, the southern kingdom. And Ephraim on with the the rest of the tribes, as the northern kingdom. All right, so <clears throat> so all the kingdoms fell short. All right, all the kingdoms fell away. 
all the kingdoms kingdoms are here in, in, in this world, all right? The so-called Negro, Latino, Native American man, all right? And if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American man, then you have to come back to your true nationality, your true power, which is Yahweh, the Most High, all right? So there, there was a falling away from us, all right? That, that was darkness when we were all in, in, in darkness, all right? And, and now the light is shining back up in this world. All right, and that's this truth, this word, this wisdom, this knowledge, understanding, Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. All right, that's the light of the world. And it says, uh, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. You see, so Yahweh Shai is the light of the world. You know, and now the spirit is coming into uh, certain men. All right, and they're the ones that are teaching, admonishing. All right, they're the ones that are um, doing the works. All right, putting on the humble elect. And they're bringing that light back into the world. You know, like Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 says, they uh, they are as sparks between the, the stubble. All right. And those sparks are what? Noticeable. All right. You see stubble and, and that's something common. All right. Well, not common necessarily. All right. Not, not that word common. But, you know, it, it's a, a regular, a base. You know, like you have... Uh, vehicles. The, the vehicle that I know the most is uh, Honda Civic. Uh, you have your Honda Civics, you have your EX, LX, all right, then you have your SI, and then you have your Type R. All right, your base model would just be a, a, a regular Honda Civic. All right, then you have your a little bit higher than that, which would be a, a Honda Civic SI. All right, it's a little bit higher, more performance. All right, then you have your Honda Civic Type R, which is the highest you can go in performance you see and, and and all these nations of the world not israel are going to be like honda civic base models all right israel is going to be like honda civic si's all right they're going to look nice they're going to drive nice but then the election the kings of the world are going to be like those honda civic type r's all right they're super flashy super nice to drive super comfortable all right and, and that's how it's going to be in the kingdom you know that's the best analogy that i can use all right but that's those are the light of the world all right the the election the ones that have the wisdom knowledge understanding of yahweh and yahweh shai you see verse six when he had thus spoke he sped on the ground and made clay of spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with clay and he said unto him go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent he went his way therefore and washed and come and came seeing all right so he was able to see after he washed his his eyes all right it says the neighbors therefore and they which before had seen him that he was blind said is not this he that sat and begged some said this is he others said he is like him but he said i am he all right so the blind man confirmed that he was the blind man all right so this Jake, all right, he was a blind man. Yahweh Shai healed him, all right, and people started speculating like, yo, how, how was this man healed? All right, what, wasn't he the guy that was a, a, a beggar? What, wasn't he the one that was blind? All right, and everybody was like, no, he just looks like him. That, that kind of looks like him, but that's not him. Other people were like, yeah, that is him. All right, until that, that man, he said, I am him. All right, verse 10, therefore said they unto him, how were thine eyes open? All right, you know Jake. Jake is real curious, man. You know, really everybody. All right, but you you can hear Jake whenever you read the scriptures. All right, it says he answered and said, "A man that is called Yahweh Shai made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed and I received sight. Then said they unto him, Where is he? He said, I know not. All right, so you can you can see where this uh how these things are going all right you have jake communicating or having a uh conversing with this ex old uh, or salakia ex blind man all right and they're like yo how, how'd you get healed all right you know how jake is so unbelieving you know they want to believe but <laughs> but they don't and they have a zeal all right but not according to knowledge all right so they they jake is lost man jake is blind all right and yeah how will get into that all right, it says they brought to the uh, Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. <coughs> it's lucky. And it was the Sabbath day when Yahweh Shai made the clay and opened his eyes. 
Then again the Pharisee also asked him, How had he received his sight? He said unto him, He put clay upon my eyes, and I washed, and do see. All right, it says, Therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of Yahweh, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Others said, How can a man that, that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division among them. All right, so Jake obviously always has their opinions, their two cents, things that they feel, things that they think. All right. But there's only one truth. All right. It says, They say unto the blind man again, What sayest thou of him? That he hath opened thine eyes. He said he is a prophet. You see, so people, uh, uh, you know, people would talk about Yahweh Shai and, and it would consider him an, a very important prophet. All right. Some people would just consider him a prophet. Other people would consider him the Messiah. All right. So, you know, through through reincarnation, Yahweh Shai was, was here in the past. All right. But. <clears throat> all right. But the, the important part of, of the spirit of Yahweh Shai is that he, he, he is the Messiah. All right. It says, but the Jews did not believe concerning him that they had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him that had received his height. And they asked him, saying, Is it your son? Is this your son, who ye say was born blind? How then doth he, he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But by the means how he now he seeth, we know not. Or how hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, ask him. He shall speak for himself. All right, so... They asked the parents, the parents were like, yep, he was born blind. He is our son. All right, we know him, but I don't know how he got his, his eyesight. All right, he, he's old enough to tell tell you. All right, he's big enough to, to tell you himself, you know. And, and scripture says, let, let, say, uh, let your conversations be yay, yay, or nay, nay. You see, whether you, it's true, then yes, say yes. If it's not true, then say no. All right, there's no, uh, I swear by this and I swear by that. All right, you can't even swear by yourself because you can't even change the colors of your hair. All right, you don't even know how many hairs you have on your head, and, they, and it's your head. <laughs> you see? Because the Most High is the one that does all this. So let your conversations be yay or nay. All right, it says, but by the means how he seeth us, um, verse 22, these words spake his parents because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that yet, that he was Mashiach, he should be put out of the synagogue. All right, so they are already were talking. All right, if anybody else says that this man is the Messiah, all right, we gonna kick his ass out of this this temple that we made. All right, when the Most High doesn't dwell uh, uh, in temples uh, of of made by hand. All right, so if you you preach, you know, you preach the gospel, or you teach. You don't necessarily have to be under a a, a, a building and, and, you know, being all comfortable with AC and all that stuff. You see? It says, uh, Therefore said his parents, He is of age, ask him. Then again called they the man that was blind, and said unto him, Give Yahweh the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. Alright, so they're pretending to know who Yahweh Shai is. Alright, because really every man is a sinner all right but what do the scriptures say the scriptures say suffer not your holy one to see corruption all right now that was corruption of the flesh you know um either being uh buried you know or it could be uh you know it was corruption of of um spirit all right because dwelling in this in this wicked place for too long all right it can start it can start messing with you you see, so Yahweh Shai was perfect. There was no sin in him. You see, so that's that's false accusing, man. You know, it says, then said they to him again, what did he, what did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? All right, so they're unbelieving, and that's that's Jake. All right, you you tell them how it is, and you tell them, and you explain it to them, and you break it down for them, and they still want to say nay. All right. It says, he answered them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. Wherefore would ye hear it again? Would ye also be his disciples? All right, so at a certain point, all right, Jake, you know, this is representing, you know, if you're keeping up with the story, 
is representing um, Jacob, the blind man, being the elect that woke up. All right, and they know that Yahweh Shai is the Messiah. They know the name is not Jebus. All right, Jesus is not Jesus, Jesus Christo. It's none of that. All right, it's Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the Messiah. All right, we know that. And this man, this blind man that was made, uh, that that sight, uh, whose sight was made, um, um, Salaki, I lost my words. Uh, whose sight was made um, whole again? Um, he knows that Yahweh Shai is a Messiah. All right, it, it it's already in his spirit, you see. And the other Jakes, all right, the two thirds, they're unbelieving and they won't believe. All right, and that's how it is with us too when we go out to the highways and the hedges. All right, and, and we preach and we teach and we have other Jakes that we meet at our our workplace or wherever. All right, that you try to teach. And you know they they're kind of like uh yeah but I don't think that's what it is. All right and then days may go by weeks years, and then they'll ask you the same damn question again, and you'll answer it to them. And then maybe a couple days may go by and they ask you again. And to a certain point you have to be like yo, I've already told you enough. All right enough is enough. If you don't get it the first second time, and I tell you this third time and you're still unbelieving, yo get the hell out of my face. You know, and that's what this blind man is going through. Like I already told y'all three, four times. All right, I already told you guys. Yes, he cleared my sight. All right, yes, he cured me. You know, yes, I was blind from birth, and now I can see. All right, so 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 what's your deal? You see, if I tell you again, are you gonna believe me? All right, that that's where his his his, his mind is at. You know, the point is on verse thirty one. It says, uh, then they reviled him and said, thou art his disciple. <laughs> you see, <laughs> man, you know, and that, that's what they do with the men of the Lord. Like, oh, y'all just racist then. All right. Y'all are just making up stuff. All right. Y'all just pulling scriptures and, and making it whatever you want it to be. You see, but they, you know, that's why uh, Hosea chapter four and six says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. All right, so it's not them rejecting the Most High; it's the Most High rejecting them because they haven't accepted that knowledge. All right, it says, um, um, but we are Moses' disciples. All right, we know that Yahweh spake unto Moses. As for this fellow, we know not from when he is, whence he is. All right, the man answered and said unto them, Why herein is a marvelous thing? That ye know not from where whence he is, and yet he hath opened my eyes. All right, so he's like, man, this is this is beautiful. All right, you guys don't know where the hell he, where he came from. Uh, y'all don't know where, where he was born or where he came from. But yet, this man that y'all call a sinner, this man that y'all don't want to believe in, this man, the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, he opened our eyes, man. All right, and that's something that we have to be very thankful for, you know being in this truth you know i know sometimes you can be you know a little carried away with with um you know maneuvering through through this wicked place you know but we always have to be thankful and remember that we weren't perfect all right before before um being in this truth we didn't know uh, we didn't know any better we were in darkness and we have to admit that that we weren't shit you see but Yahweh Shai is the one that woke us up. All right. Let us. You see, he's the one that's, that's opening our eyes. We're not those blind men anymore. And we have to act accordingly. You see, it says. Uh, um, Khan, it says, uh, but if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh. All right. Let, let me start that again. Verse 31. Now we know that Yahweh heareth Salakia. Um, Khan, verse 31. Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners. All right, so he doesn't love everybody. You see, because we're all living in, in, in sin, all right, dwelling in wickedness, all right, because we're in these mortal bodies. But some of us are actually trying to make a change, all right, and that's where repent comes in. That word repent means to change, all right, change the course of, of your path. You see, you're going through that, that wide, uh, uh, wide path 
all right and you're changing your your ways so now you're going through that straight path you know which means hard difficult you know small narrow you see thin you know it it it, it ain't gonna be easy it's a hard thing to do all right but the election will receive that all right like it says in romans 11 what then israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for or romans uh kind of believe it was romans 11 and 9 i believe but it says uh, or 9 and 11 but it says that uh, israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for all right but the election have obtained it you see so israel's trying to find you know the, these ways of life and, and find things out but at the end it, it didn't belong to them all right it says now we know that yahweh heareth not sinners you see and that's something that they knew back then that the Most High Yahweh does not listen to sinners. All right, unless they repent. That's why the scriptures say, "Rend your heart and not your garments." All right, so don't don't cut away from your from your clothes and you know be uh, show this big old um you know scenery where oh man this guy truly repented. Look at him, he's he's rending his clothes and praying to the Most High. No man. All right, the Most High doesn't doesn't require you to to rip your clothes off and and, and cry and, and do this this and that all right because you got to remember that esau did that too esau cried all right he saw it carefully with tears but he found no no place of repentance in his heart you see so the most important thing for us to do is repent all right and how do we repent by showing you don't just say i repent all right i repent i won't do it again and then you do it again all right. How do you repent by showing it? How do you sh how how do you love by showing it? You see. So, if, if we're all sinners, who are the ones that are actually trying to make a difference? Who are the ones that are changing their ways? All right. I, I don't look at married women anymore. You know, like I used to. I don't um, you know, eat, eat abominable foods like I used to. You know, I used to not care about things of 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 conduct. Uh, conduct and now i do I, I conduct myself a lot better being in this truth all right learning uh, uh reading studying having more wisdom knowledge understanding standing praying being a brother you see now now you're making differences so now you're justified because the election will be justified you see so the most high is looking for those that are going to rend their hearts cut away from the old man you know scriptures say it over and over and over cut away from the old man and another one says knowing now that it's high time um to wake out of sleep all right and and now is that time to wake out of sleep man it says uh but if any man be a worshiper of yahweh and doeth his will him he heareth you see so it's not just anybody he doesn't listen to just anyone you know and the rest of like i'm saying the rest of the chapter is is really really good all right, it's a representation of um, Israel waking up to the truth. You know, this blind man eventually, all right, uh, Yahawashai eventually meets with this blind man because he was kicked out of the synagogue. All right, so Yahawashai meets up with the ex-blind man and he speaks to him and he, he tells him, do you believe in the Messiah? And the blind man says, yeah, I believe in him. But who is he? And he tells him, him that is speaking to you. All right, so Yahweh Shai presented himself and told him, I'm the Messiah. All right, he's like, do you believe? And he said, my Lord, I believe. All right, so Israel was was woken up. All right, so that that this is, you know, this literally happened, you know, in that time when Yahweh Shai was, was walking the earth. All right, but also symbolically, you know, there's a lot of things that have double, uh, uh, multifold. All right, twofold, multifold. But, um, I see this as a multifold because now we we're seeing those things happening. All right, we see Israel waking up. We see Israel being kicked out of out of uh, uh, the way of life through the rest of, of the Pharisees, the rest of the scribes, people that think that they're much mightier and think that they're so somewhat. All right, you know what? Let, let me keep reading because there's a there's a very important point. Yeah, come on, let me let me keep reading. It says, uh, verse 32, since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? You see, so from the beginning, there was never 
never an account of somebody doing something like this. None of the miracles that Yahweh Shai did were made before. All right. So that's why when they were being dumb, people were tripping the hell out. All right. Yo, who, who is this man's? All right. Whose man's is this? You see, no one really understood why he was doing that, you know, but but certain Israelites were like, yo, that's him. That's the Messiah. All right. They believed, you see. If this man were not of Yahweh, he could do nothing, you see? And like Yahweh Shai said, all right, you say that I cast out devil, a devil by by the devils, all right? But a house divided cannot stand, man. And that's what Yahweh Shai was trying to tell him, like, yo, how can you be so blind as to see this? You know, and it'll get into that. It says, they answered and said unto him, that was altogether born in sins. And does thou teach us? And they cast him out. You see, they cast out the old man. Or, or the uh, uh, so-called blind man, all right, which he was really awake and they were blind. But it says, Yahweh Shai heard that they cast him out. And when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe in the son of Yahweh? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe in him? Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. You see? So that's something beautiful, man. All right, but going on, it says, and he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshiped him. You see? So, we, yeah, we worship Yahweh Shai, you see? Because we worship Yahweh, the Most High. It says, and Yahweh Shai said, for judgment, I am come into this world, for they which see not might see. You see? And that's beautiful, because that's that's Israel, those that see not. And right now, you know, the brother, brother and I were talking, I believe it was today, Khan, it was today. And he was saying, you know, you, we got to watch out for those little ones, man. You know, look out for the little ones. They might not be awake yet. All right. But it's beautiful because the brother and I both felt the same thing for a certain individual in our workspace. All right? Whether he be part of the elect or not, you know, Lord willing, he is, you know, but <clears throat> but we both felt the same thing toward that individual. You know, you can tell he's a Jake. All right. So we both felt the same thing. You know, I, I met him way before the brother did. And I felt the same energy, the, the same thing, man. You know, spoke to him and he's he's real. He's a real nice guy and, and, and all this stuff. You know, we're not being ignorant. We're not being, oh, okay, well, he gave me some food. And, he, you know, we, we understand what the scriptures say. All right. We take heed and we listen. We hearken. We're, we're watchful. All right. Circumspect. You know, but this man, there, there's something peculiar about him, you know. And we all are we are a peculiar people to the most high. All right. So this brother, after he met him, you know, he felt the same way, you know. So however the, the spirit leads us, you know, whether um, he comes into the fold soon, later or in those last times, you know. But but overall, you know, we have to watch out for those little ones. And that's who Yahweh Shai came here for. And that's who we're sent after. You see, like Yahweh Shai uh, uh, said, uh, Peter, does thou love me? And he said, Lord, thou knowest. And then he asked him again and again. All right. And, and he was already like, yo, why is he telling me this? You know, but um, finally, Yahweh Shai, you know, the, the, the job that he gave the apostles all right, was to feed the flock. All right. Feed the flock, feed the little ones. That's our job to feed the little ones. All right, it says, and Yahweh Shai said, for judgment, I am come into this world that they which see not might see. Now, does that mean literally we all had to be blind? No, that means spiritually blinded. All right. Like it says in Deuteronomy and noonday, we will be groping. All right. And that, that's how our people were. That's how we were at, at a certain point in, of our time of our life. We were groping, just grabbing onto whatever we could, man. You know, not really taking heed into the most high, not really seeing that 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 path that we're supposed to follow, that straight path. All right. It says, um, and that they which see might be made blind. So all these people that say, oh, I'm woke. All right. That, that's something very common within Jake saying that they're woke when in reality they're, they're going after, uh, you know, Egyptian uh, customs and African customs and all this stuff, everything except the truth, which is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Rakakwadash. All right, that says, and some of the Pharisees 
which were with him heard these words all right so some of these supposed higher ups heard all right and it says and said unto him are we blind also all right you can already hear the mockery in, in jake's voice are we blind also yahweh said unto them if ye were blind ye should have no sin but now ye say we see therefore your sin remaineth you see so that's why the most high isn't going after any prideful ass all right dude no no big muscle head no no dudes that you know walk around like like they're jocks all right the most high is looking for those of a sincere contrite spirit of a sincere heart that's who he's looking for all right now you have to ask yourself if if, if you are that you know this is first peter chapter three and I'm going to start off at verse verse 12. It says, For thine eyes, O Lord, are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. You see, so the ears of the Most High are open unto the righteous men. You see, so if you call yourself a follower of the Lord, step take three steps back seven take seven step back all right steps back for completion <laughs> you know and and stare at your life stare at everything that that you're doing look at yourself and not analyze and and, and see if you really are a man of the lord what can you be doing better all right it says but the face of the lord is against them that do evil you see so he's not listening to to your prayers he doesn't listen to what you have to say all right and people are like oh god doesn't exist because i had a prayer about this and my mom this and this this and that and it didn't happen and then this happened to me and then this this and that all right jake always puts a bunch of excuses but look at yourself are you being righteous all right this is a uh, proverbs 15 lucky proverbs 15 in verse 8 it says uh the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to yahweh but the prayer of the upright is his delight you see so a righteous man praying to the most high he 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 delights in that but a wicked man praying to him is like oh man this this motherfucker again you know what i'm saying he's like oh this boy again this big old sinner that doesn't even give a damn about anything thinks that he just can buy himself into the kingdom you see so you have to you have to you have to all right take heed you know so this is uh verse nine the way of the wicked is an abomination unto yahweh you see so everything you do is is, is an abomination but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. So he doesn't love everyone. All right. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. All right. So correction is grievous. You see. And he that hateth reproof shall die. You see. So. Oh man. I I can't be doing that man. I can't be following the Lord. Because then that means I got to give up on all this food over here. And it's cheap. All right, and, and I can't do this, and I couldn't go out to parties, and my kids' birthdays about to come up, and I can't do Christmas, but my kids love Christmas. If you can't put all these worldly things to the side, then you shouldn't even try to be a disciple of the Lord. That's why you have to sit down and see if you have enough to build a house. All right, before you even start building that house, you see. So I'm gonna end it with this one in Second Corinthians, chapter thirteen. And it's uh, verse 5. It says, examine yourselves. You see? Examine yourselves. Whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in you? Except ye be reprobates? But I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. You see? So the election. All right like jake says in in the world real recognize real all right so the real are going to recognize the real you know, which starts with our apostles all right our elders at green millstone you see so with that i came i want to say shalom peace and blessings it's the luckiest.
windy as hell now. Peace and blessings to the 12 tribes. Alright, to the sincere sisters, to sincere brothers, the Akim, to our elders, to the Zaquanyam. I say Shalom and as always given all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Give me the honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom Akim, stay strong out there.